Every story starts with a beginning. Ours starts in 1834 in Hanau, Germany, with Philip Wolf I, a silversmith. He learned the craft of box making from his father, and when he finds he's selling more boxes than jewelry, he has the vision to move the company from silversmithing into box making. In 1905, he encourages his son, Philip Wolf II, to move to Sweden, where our story continues. In 1910, Philip Wolf II is running the company and marries the love of his life, Ida Wilhelmina. But after losing two of their five children, Philip Wolf II breaks down and Ida takes over the reins of the company. Ida is a remarkable woman. She left school at 11 to work, lost her father at 14, and later two children and her husband. But somehow she manages to keep our company going. Traveling Scandinavia, lugging her trunk and suitcases on horse-drawn carriages and steam trains to sell the boxes made in our workshop in Malmo. She survives the First and Second World Wars, all while raising her three surviving children. In 1936, her son Philip Wolf III, a keen fisherman, starts working alongside Ida in the company. As a man of great insight, he also writes about the effect over-farming has on the land, streams and rivers. In 1957, he invents a hinge that affixes to the inside of a box, a design which is still in use today. He also invents the famed music box with twirling ballerina. His inventiveness will live on into the next generation. Towards the end of the 50s, my father, Philip Wolf IV, lands in England, marries my mother and stays. He loves planes and anything technical and mechanical and believes that if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing well. And then, in 1967, he builds a factory in Wales. In 1968, he showcases Wolf in Oxford Street's prestigious Selfridges. And in 1972, he receives the Swedish Royal Warrant and celebrates by launching the brand Design Philippe. Then in 1986, my father suggests I try my hand at selling, which it turns out I love. I also spend time in our Welsh factory to experience how our products are made. And in 1987, my father takes me to our US distributor in Chicago, where I decide I could do a better job. So from 1988, I spend 30 years in the US, selling face-to-face -to, -face to the grand American department stores of the past. Today, we have three offices around the world, thousands of customers, and I'm based in the English countryside a place where I feel most at home, surrounded by nature and all manner of life, which I believe must be given the utmost respect. So as I move the company forward, I do so with a strong focus on sustainability, because this is the only way to protect our legacy.